The debate on size zero models has been heating up for a few years now, primarily due to the physical and psychological abuse models are subjected to to maintain the specs which the fashion industry demands. From bulimia and anorexia, starvation to depression and even suicide, the effects of size zero has gone beyond the ramp and into homes of children and teenagers who aspire to get into the fashion industry, making this a very dangerous, life-threatening trend. Change has to come, and one of those leading the way was Tyra Banks, who introduced plus-size models into America's Next Top Model and fashion houses Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton, Marc Jacobs, Saint Laurent and Balenciaga put out a model charter with guidelines for healthy models representing their brands. But whether this will actually change the size zero narrative is left to be seen. Rukshi Fernando Selviratna, the head of design and co-founder of Rum Punch Designer Swimwear, decided to change the perception here. She gave her Rum Punch swimsuits a punch by changing the entire look using multiple ages and multiple sizes of women to model her look. Rukshi, welcome to Kaleidoscope and Selico Life. Let's talk. How do you see fashion in the light of size zero? Uh, if I talk about Sri Lanka, I think it's changing now. Uh, when it comes to the world, it did change a little, maybe a year or two before, but in Sri Lanka, it's happening now. Uh, and I think it's really great because we do need that uh, because everyone is not size zero. Uh, we all have different body types and you know body issues and all of those so yes it's changing and which is really great so what do you think international fashion has done to change the perception of size zero models and the whole size zero fashion industry and is sri lanka following suit social media is a big thing everything is now on social media especially uh, instagram facebook and now it's tiktok and all of those uh, so I mean, what they have done, when I say they, international market, what they have done is all their models to their campaigns, everything is to do with day-to-day -day women uh, or girls, um, more than like, you know, perfect body, they don't even retouch anymore. I mean, some brands they do because that's their, you know, brand identity, uh, but they, they are changing, but not, I mean, there are some brands who have gone like all out, like, you know, they use you know, not retouching, they use real women, uh, and which is great uh, in Sri Lanka. And I think we are just following that now. All the brands are using not like real women and um, uh, yeah, so it's, it's pretty awesome. So what is the message that should go out to designers, to conceptualizers, to models uh, that size zero is no longer a hero? Uh, well, okay, there are two sides. I think there are some girls who can't, you know, be gain weight. You, you know, they are, that's their size. Size zero is their size, which is fine. But there are some models who think they have to be size zero, which I don't think it's right. And they don't have to do that. Uh, just, you know, eat healthy, you know, eat what you like and exercise, just be healthy. Uh, so that's the best thing I think I would say to everyone uh, to, you know, be yourself, be healthy. In the modelling industry, there's a lot of pressure on models where everyone strives to be that size zero. But is that what is expected? How do we change that right now? So I think it's the designers, the organisers of the whole fashion industry or fashion shows and you know all of that events and uh, and then yeah I think it's the mainly the top end, the designers, the organisers and then the models do come after and also us like you know the customers you know the you know of what we see who we look at or who the audience is so we all have to change uh, or be or think that you know that this is what real life is or real model industry is model industry is not just that perfect zero you know six foot tall a uh, girl, it's just like us, you know, I'm a five footer who's not a zero, you know, I would like to be on the ramp, but I, I don't think I can because they are not there as yet. Uh, but I think we are slowly changing now. Uh, also with this whole situation of, you know, the whole world is going with, uh, we can't bring models down. So we have to use what we have in Sri Lanka also, which is great because we all get opportunity uh, you know, some girls are not size zero, some girls are zero, uh, 
so I think we need a mix of both. So where do you see size zero models heading in this new age of fashion? It might take some time, you know, that, you know, we want to, but there is that, like I said, grey area that we might take some time for that change. Even now, even if I tell you, okay, you know, size zero might not, you know, might not be there, but when we are designing, we always sort of picture that. I don't know why I do. I do want to change and I am changing, but it's just even that sketch we do is that. So I think it might take a few more years for that to change or the new generation, we might have to change from there. The industry does need to change. Size zero is not a hero anymore. And unless the entire industry, and of course, we as customers see it that way, it's going to be a long walk on that ramp with a lot of casualties along the way. Thank you, Rukshika, for joining us on Selling for Life Let's Talk and for showcasing real women in your campaign where age, weight, look or size doesn't really matter. It is all about how you feel inside. With Selinko Life Pension Saver, Sri Lanka's premier retirement plan, start planning for your retirement today. Selinko Life, a relationship for life.